Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more My Hero Academia. This is season 2, episode 23, just three episodes left in the season. We've got their finals, and uh, three teams passed last time, in addition to uh, Kirishima and Sato failing the previous episode. We had uh, Sue and Tokoyami pass last time, we had Ida and Ojiro pass, and then a wonderful moment where... Yaoi Rozu uh, gained some of her confidence back uh, and won against Aizawa with Todoroki. And now, let's continue. It's exciting to see all these finals. Uh, if you guys want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Join the Discord. Uh, we can talk more about My Hero Academia there or anything else. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. At this rate, Deku and Bakugo are going to get thrown around like ragdolls. Because All Might can freaking change the weather in one punch. Those Weights aren't going to slow him down that much, and uh, even if they split up and one of them wants to run to the exit, All Might could just beat one guy in a second and just sprint to the exit in another second, so for them to pass, he'll definitely have to be going easy on them, um, still intimidating as heck. Uh, we also have that little note by Recovery Girl saying that the four teachers are particularly harsh on their students, it was Midnight, Aizawa, Cementos, and All Might. So, I mean, even if All Might was going easy on them, they'd be in for it, too. And uh, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to Deku and Bakugo possibly trying to work together, because it's time for some growth, Bakugo. I know Deku would be willing to work with you, but he's just mad at Deku for every little tiny thing that he does. Uh, it's it's <laughs> He has to grow up. Uh, but yeah, the beginning of this episode might have been one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. At first... Uh, it was really super sweet, because Uraraka was just hanging on for dear life say and thinking, What would do Deku do in a time like this? He is always on her mind. It's a Willie Nelson song. And uh, Aoyama, who would have thought that he's that astute? Uh, I don't think anyone else has even remotely noticed that she might have feelings for Deku. Though I guess there might be, I don't know. We haven't seen them gossip all that much. Uh, maybe it was a shot in the dark by Aoyama. Hey, Aoyama. I have a hard time pronouncing his name, Aoyama, uh, but maybe he is secretly an empath and has a good read on his fellow students. I don't know, because uh, he's been a joke character for so long. It's interesting to see him display actual like emotional intelligence, possibly, um, or he was just shooting in the dark. Uh, but yeah, Uraka gets so flustered when he when he asks her if she likes him. Uh, so flustered, in fact, that she forgets she's in a battle. Let's go over the frickin' bars. The only thing stopping her from getting eaten by the 13's, uh, black hole. And her cheeks are so flushed from embarrassment that she has to, like, cover up her cheeks. It's, it's, she's adorable. Um, 13, obviously because she's not a villain who's trying to kill her students, had to turn off her quirk. And Uraka used her gunhead martial arts really well. Uh, Aoyama came flying in like, wee, wee. Uh, re really reminded me of, honestly, Charles Lee from the Hamilton musical. I'm a general. We. It's the same exact energy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe after this, uh, Uraraka might start to admit her feelings a little bit. But she is super easy to fluster. And honestly, if I was her friend in UA, I don't know if I could resist provoking her into being like super embarrassed about her gigantic crush. It's so cute. Um... <laughs> Froppy triggers her massive embarrassment accidentally by asking what Aoyama said to her. Nothing, it was nothing. <laughs> I wonder how long they'll play with this, though. Um, like, will they, won't they kind of thing with Deku and Uraraka. Uh, they're both obviously still, like, mid-teens, so they could theoretically do this for years. Like, seasons and seasons and seasons. But, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shipping them a little bit right now. Um... But yeah, they've both got goals that they're laser-focused on, so maybe being in a relationship could uh, be helpful to both of them. Most likely that's not going to happen, given that they're kids and it would be both of their first relationships. It honestly seems like it'd be a distraction instead. But who cares? I want to see them... I don't know. Just, uh... I think I also made comments about Todoroki, like shipping Todoroki and Deku too, but I don't know. I like... I, like, I just want... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to continue with this train of thought. Anyway, the next fight was between Kaminari and Mina Ashido versus the principal. Freaking high specs. I mean, I suspected that their weaknesses were that they weren't the brightest because we've talked about it before with their midterm exams and how Kaminari was so dull that he didn't even realize he could shock enemies by touching them at the USJ. 
uh, that Jiro had to be like human stun gun and kick him into an enemy. So Principal Nezu, uh, the sp with his high specs quirk, just completely outthought them. Could see so many moves ahead. They didn't even see him the entire fight. And also, apparently Principal Nezu was an animal that got a quirk and lives among human society. That's so fascinating. Because um, President Mike said you won't find any others out there like him, and Recovery Girl said he was experimented on, which is really sad. Um, but also she says in moments like these, he gets his vengeance, and then he had the sadistic laughter. Uh, it was so funny. <laughs> and he was just like moving the sticks around. I don't know. I would like to see him in a non-torturing student's capacity. Uh, I would like to see him do hero work. I don't know. It would be fun. And, uh, yeah, love his character a lot. Um, so we have seen humanoid animal quirk types before. Like, the cat, there's a cat police officer, and the host of chief of police are humans uh, who have a cat and a dog quirk. So they're not a cat and a dog who have quirks that make them more human, because... Uh, Again, I, uh, President Mike said that this is one of a kind. Um, so, but yeah, now I'm wondering, is this is this show an undercover furry show? God damn it. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, Yayu Rose was able to deduce that Principal Nezu can calculate and predict on a whole other level just by seeing what's on screen. She's so smart. I love it. Uh, Nezu easily defeats Kaminari and Mina. And Mina was so looking forward to the campfire s'mores. I'm so sad for her. Oh. Uh, we then had Jiro and Koda's match against President Mike. I had actually completely forgotten Koda's quirk. I don't remember when they introduced it. I remember he was petting Hiro Anima in the Choosing Names episode, so maybe I knew it from there? My point is, we have hardly gotten to know him thus far, so this was the first time for him to really shine. Uh, I like that Jiro, too, was able to um, work together with him, uh, able to formulate a plan to beat President Mike. So that was really great. Um... I did like that Aizawa did the intro for President Mike's quirk, though, because it's always President Mike announcing everybody else's, but since he's fighting, uh, it was Aizawa. They're, they, they're such good friends, I feel like, except for... Like, Aizawa plays that... I mean, Pres President Mike might actually get on his nerves sometimes, but... Uh, <laughs> they're good friends. Jiro with the plan, to, though, getting Koda to talk to Bugs. He's so scared of them, it's super funny. And his voice is so much different than what I had imagined. <laughs> Jiro was like, you can talk?! Hello, tiny friends, hear my call. That was so good. Uh, it was, like, so unexpected, too. And <laughs> Recovery Girl was... Uh, after the bugs took up uh, <laughs> President Mike, Recovery Girl was like, you got taken up by a couple of bugs? Uh, this this episode was spectacular. So much fun. Uh, then we had Hagakure and Shoji, which... If Hagakure was able to put the cuffs on the gun hero, I feel like running away was going to be... Would be so much easier than that, right? Like, it's just sneaking up on him. You have to be quiet. You have to hide your presence in more ways than just physically. Because she can already hide herself physically, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, she put the cuffs on him. And he elbowed her in the boob by accident. It was a legitimate accident. Uh, Snipe is going to get a reputation. He couldn't see her, obviously. But uh, him trying to explain it was super funny. I respect women. That's not the issue here, Snipe. Uh, this whole episode was just non-stop really really funny and uh, super super yeah just entertaining uh, but yeah Snipe isn't the real pervert the real pervert is freaking Mineta that was the dumbest shit I want to be popular with girls is a good enough reason to be a hero apparently really uh, and he was so mad at Sarah because Midnight put him in her lap this child this freaking <sighs> I'm surprised that Grape Rush is actually a good enough skill to be able to take down a pro hero. I mean, I'm super sus of that, but on some level, she also let him win. Uh, no way that Weasel won one-on-one -on -one versus a pro hero. And Midnight, this is how she acts around high school children? Like, I was going to... She was saying I was going to stay by the uh, exit, but I had a deeper itch I needed to be scratched. Mineta's like 15 or something? And she said that seeing Mineta run away awakened her sadistic side, so she shares that with uh, Principal Nezu, though hers is much more sexual, because... Uh, midnight. <laughs> uh, how is she a high school teacher? And uh, Mineta was like, oh my god, this is something out of my best worst nightmares. Uh, I mean, 
Sexuality can be used as a weapon, but Mineta's 15, midnight, midnight. <sighs> and, then, and when first Mineta was running away, she said, Where are you going, Grape Juice? And I mean, the fact that she was there when he chose and declared his name to the class, and then to use it to kind of like taunt him, super, super sadistic. That is like, wow, I'm surprised at midnight, uh, even though I feel like I shouldn't be anymore. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of hilarious. Uh, it turns out Mineta ran away on purpose to lure her away from the exit. This little purple turd had a plan. I think I think the author is just messing with us now. Um, they must know how detestable Mineta is to the audience and must have known everybody was rooting for him to lose. Um, and then purposely given him like a cool, cool hero moment. He was like, I'm a fan of the pervy hero, so naturally I know all about your sadistic side. Oh god, Mineta. Being a hero doesn't make you cool. You're cool because you're a hero. <laughs> I I hate this. I hate him so much, but it's... At, at the end, I was kind of like, okay, fine. You kind of deserve that win. I don't mind so much that you won because he actually had a plan and he used his knowledge of his opponent to his advantage. And he even went for Hantasero. He could have easily just ran out the gate by himself. He got Hantasero and pulled him out. Um, but then he had to say... We live to see boobs another day. Frickin' he's the worst. You are the frickin' worst, Mineta. I... <laughs> okay. And also, Hondasero might not have deserved to pass his exam. He just took a nap, and that was that. This whole episode is just so ridiculous. I kind of love it, and I kind of hate it at the same time. I hate the Mineta part, but I also love it at the same time. I'm going to give this a 10. Uh, it's just... Uh, 10 is a little... I don't know. Let's give it a 9.75, because I'm not like... It's just so funny and ridiculous. It's really well done, though. Um, I definitely enjoyed this more than... Uh, like, I enjoyed a lot of the finals that I didn't think I would enjoy. Um, like, we got to... We got a lot of heroes had their moment to shine, and it was fun to see. 9.75 feels right. 10, 10 is a little too high for an episode where Mineta gets to be the hero. Ugh, okay. <laughs> I'm done shitting on him. He does that on his own all the time. He enjoys that. Oh my god. Stop. I can't. I can't. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like. Subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to check out the full reaction or early reactions, you can see Patreon in the link in the description below. I'm going to include it in the comment as well. Uh, we have Discord. We can talk about this show. And yeah. Um, I've been running into more and more copyright issues with My Hero Academia, so I'll see what I want to do with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.